Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. We are in danger my friends. We are in a very very critical point because Bitcoin is currently breaking out out of this uh, rising wedge that we had here in the last couple of days and weeks. And it also looks like that here in the lower time frames we are confirming this uh, previous support which now could be acting as a new resistance right here at around 56 to 57 thousand dollar. So there are big warning signs right now my friends that we could see here follow through to the downside. We're also gonna cover the targets today. But also there are some bullish signs that maybe this could be a fake out and we will be back into our uptrend very soon here also in the lower time frames. So currently what we are seeing right now of course is very concerning especially here in the 4 hour time frame. So what we are seeing right now is a big rejection from the EMA ribbons and also from the 20 moving average. Yesterday we didn't manage to close 4 hour candles above this important moving average and therefore right now we're gonna see this continuation to the downside and what we are seeing right now could be a potential local bottom so we could see a little breather here to the upside towards 56 to 57 thousand dollar and there then we're gonna see if this is new resistance or if this was just a fake out to the downside a bear trap and we immediately gonna bounce again here to the upside and go back into an uptrend here in the lower time frames so what we are getting here in my own indicator in the three hour time frame is currently a nice bounce out of the 200 moving average and also we have a buy signal right now flashing it will be only confirmed in 50 minutes and what of course is a bit concerning is the money flow it's still negative but at least right now we have a chance to see here a $57,000 retest here the top of the EMA ribbons and of course also the previous support which now could be acting as a resistance here at around $57,000. RSI is also quite oversold so what I think will happen in the next coming hours is that we're gonna see this breather to the upside and this will decide if here in the lower time frames we can go back into an uptrend and then of course also create new all-time highs or if here we are getting rejected and we're gonna see follow through to the downside because here in the one hour time frame we also got a bullish divergence so as you can see here in the RSI we have a higher low in the RSI and in the price action we have a low Lower low so that is a bullish divergence and that's why right now we could see here this breather to the upside that could take us towards this fifty seven thousand dollar so in the next coming hours I'm expecting this breather and then of course we're gonna see if we are able to go back in an uptrend or not and as I told you also in yesterday's video my friends this is only significant if you're trading over on Femex or Bybit with leverage so if you're taking shorts here or longs only for this reason you should be looking here at the lower time frames otherwise for the long term we are still in our bull market and you should try to accumulate as much Bitcoin as possible on the way to the upside and I wouldn't necessarily try to catch uh, tops here and try to sell to hopefully then rebuy back in cheaper later because of course it's possible that here we're gonna continue to drop towards 40 or 30 thousand dollar but in my opinion it's not worth the risk to try to take out profits now to hopefully rebuy back in cheaper later because for the long term if you have a long term investment idea here for bitcoin then also at those prices here you can easily dca into bitcoin because for the long term we anyway will go to way higher prices and now if we go over into the daily time frame here you can see that yesterday we had a close below the 20 daily moving average and that of course is very concerning because if today we cannot recover immediately back up here above this $55,300 then in my opinion we will see continuation to the downside then we are confirming this 20 daily moving average as a resistance and the next target here in the daily would be here the 50 daily moving average this area here which also previously acted as a strong resistance and now it should be new support right here at fifty thousand dollar 
and in the daily time frame currently we are cooling off and it looks like that we could have a successful bounce here right at the 50 level in the RSI and also since we are cooling off the daily after getting here these bearish divergences I think here we could be gearing up for a big move to the upside if we are able to have a big bounce latest here at the 50 daily moving average so hopefully we will not go below 50k but there is still a high chance that we could even drop below this important support here and therefore we have to go over into the weekly time frame because here very important this moving average over here the nine weekly moving average right at forty nine thousand dollar usually bitcoin always bounces at this important moving average this is what we have seen through the whole bull market here and also in the past for the worst case scenario that we would lose at any point here this nine weekly moving average we could even drop towards the 20 weekly but here latest at this moving average we should see a big bounce to the upside otherwise if we would go below the 20 weekly moving average and start to close all the weekly candles below this important support then this could change the things because that would mean that we could be in a bear market for the next coming weeks and months and that of course would be very bearish i don't think that will happen but just keep those two important moving averages in mind here and currently we are still fine we're still above the nine weekly moving average so we can even drop here towards forty nine thousand dollar and still remain in our bullish trend here in the weekly even if we would fall towards the 20 weekly everything is fine but of course that will hurt a lot my friends because this moving average is only here at thirty six thousand dollar and this is also more or less where the stock to flow model price level is right now so this blue trend line that you're seeing here is where we should be at right now based on the stock to flow model price and this is right here at around thirty nine thousand dollar so it is possible since we are now a bit overpriced that we could fall down towards this 39 to 40k area and then have another bounce to the upside same like we had over here so even if we would drop down towards 40k we are still on our way towards our bullish targets way above 100k towards the end of the year so that's why my friends everything is still good no concerns for now but of course for the lower time frames maybe even for the midterm we are in a very critical point and we could face some problems here and some continuations to the downside but for the long term everything is still fine and that's why you should still accumulate as much bitcoin as possible with every dip that we are seeing along the way here so me personally i'm not taking any actions right now i just let it roll i told you that i'm only gonna take some profits out if we're gonna see here a big run up towards 75 to 100k in the next coming days and weeks because in that case we would be too overheated but if right now we're just gonna start to consolidate or make Maybe even come down to test these important supports down here i just gonna accumulate more bitcoin so we're gonna get some cheaper bitcoin and for the long term of course that's very very good and uh, now we can go over into the cme chart because here i want to show you actually let's go over into the daily time frame because here you can see that we're still above the 20 daily moving average so this chart it's excluding weekend data and here we are still above the 20 daily moving average so the cme chart is looking way better than the spot chart so here we are still safe even though of course we are breaking out to the downside also here from this rising wedge but if we are able to maintain here the 20 daily moving average as a support and not close daily candles below this important moving average which currently here is at $53,000 then I think this was a bear trap and we will head higher here very very soon so I'm gonna keep a very close eye also here into the CME chart because here we are still in an uptrend here we're still above the 20 daily moving average and also if we pull out here the EMA ribbons you can see that we are still in the upper area so we could even drop here towards the 50 daily moving average and still remain here in an uptrend based on the EMA ribbons and the same goes also here for the spot chart we are still within the EMA ribbons so as long as we are not starting to close daily candles below the 50 daily moving average which is also the bottom of the EMAs here at 50k I think we are still in an uptrend and we should expect here new all-time highs very soon only if we are starting to close daily candles below then my targets are the 9 and 20 weekly moving average between 49 to 36 thousand dollar 
So we are in a cr very critical point, my friends. Of course, if you have no cash on the sideline, maybe it's not bad to just take a little bit out, like 10% or something to be ready to buy the dip. If we're gonna see a massive sell-off towards uh, the nine or 20 weekly moving average, otherwise we are still in our bull market, we are still in our uptrend, and that's why take these dips and these corrections as a good buy opportunity for the long term. And we can go over now to Ethereum, because Ethereum here in the daily time frame is also still in an uptrend, at least we are right here at the bottom of the EMA ribbons, but the problem is that we lost this support here of $1,760. So what I'm expecting here for Ethereum, if Bitcoin continues to dump or trade sideways, is that we most likely also here gonna jump up and down here between this support that we have currently here of 1670 and the new resistance that we could have here at 1760 and if we go over into the four hour you can see that right now we're trading below the 200 moving average and um, yeah even here i'm expecting a breather towards here this 1760 dollars and then the same thing like on bitcoin we're gonna have to see if we're able to break through here because otherwise if this is new resistance then we're most likely gonna start to trade sideways here maybe even continue to drop lower because the next support will be down here then at 1590 dollars you can also see that this previously acted as a strong resistance and now it should be new support but even here in the lower time frames, it looks like that we are in for a breather to the upside, same like on Bitcoin. Uh, so if you want to take a little bit of profits out, if you have no cash on the sideline and you want to be ready for any bigger sell-off to buy the dip, then maybe wait for this breather to play out. And then if here we're gonna get rejected, take a little bit of cash out just to be ready in case that we're gonna see a major sell-off that you can buy the dip. But if you still have a little bit of cash on the sideline and you're investing in Ethereum and of course also in Bitcoin for the long term, then no need to freak out. Also Ethereum, in my opinion, is looking very bullish and we should expect here towards the end of this year also prices way above $2,000. And now let's go over into the DXY because the DXY is having a massive uh, pump here. You can see that we are breaking out out of this falling wedge and the target would be up here at around $92.50. And if we go over into the daily time frame, you can see that the 200 daily moving average right now is here exactly at this price target. So in my opinion, we still get rejected here at the 200 daily moving average, but we're gonna have to see what will happen once the DXY is reaching this critical moving average up here. Because in the daily time frame, we are in an uptrend right now. Money flow is positive. We are trading above the 50 level in the RSI. Everything is looking bullish for the DXY in the daily. But if here we are getting heavily rejected at the 200 daily moving average, in my opinion, this can change very quickly here again to the downside. And that of course is very much in favor for the crypto market and also for the stock market and speaking about stock market let's go over to nasdaq because nasdaq yesterday had a bullish close here above the 20 and 9 daily moving average in theory we are back in an uptrend also here if today we can confirm it as a new support here the 9 and 20 daily moving average so if today we can close nasdaq above thirteen thousand dollar this is the mini futures chart then in my opinion also here we are back in an uptrend and we should see continuation to the upside but also nasdaq of course uh, depends very much from the dxy so if the dxy is starting to pump towards the 200 daily moving average then of course this is a big danger for the nasdaq as well because in that case we could also see this as a fake out and we come back down towards the 100 daily moving average but uh, so far everything is looking like that here we could see a bullish close and we're gonna see continuation to the upside so if you're interested in the nasdaq then watch out for today's close it should be at least above thirteen thousand dollar and if Nasdaq is starting back to go here in an uptrend and create new all-time highs, then I think this will also be in favor for the Bitcoin price. And uh, that's why also we cover here always Nasdaq in my channel. All right, my friend. So with that said, I'm going to wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and also check out all my referral links down below here in the video description because those are the recommended exchanges that I'm also using. And with my referral links, you will get some extra money, some extra bonus, especially if you're new in the crypto space. If you open up an account over on Coinbase or Swissborg and even Binance, you will get some extra cash with your first purchase. So definitely check them out. And next to that of course you support the channel 
And a big shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on Discord. If you want to be part of our Discord community, then use the invitation link that you find down below here in the video description. Once you clicked on this link here, you go here to the read first channel and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot. Like this, you have free access to the trading chat. And if you also want to get access to my live stream indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin, you can send me here a private message because a small donation is needed to get access to this indicator live stream or you can just make this subscription here over on YouTube then you also get free access to the live stream indicator. So thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye!